everybody, and welcome back to another Alchemy Guide. This is another quick one. We're going to talk about the sound action. Pretty simple stuff. If you go to create an action, you'll see that one of the options is the sound action. Now, you can label it whatever you'd like. Maybe it's an action that takes place or sound action that takes place during a certain time, or maybe you've attached it to a weapon so that every time you use the weapon, the sound action will go off and it'll play a nice clink, clank sound whenever you use the, the item. Whatever you want, you can attach music or anything like that. And as you can see, whenever you uh, whenever you click on here, it'll give you the option for different audio assets if you've uploaded them to your universe. But basically what it does is it plays either an MP3, M4A, WAV, or AUG file. Uh, we suggest AUG files, obviously, because it is the smallest format and it allows you to kind of uh, save your uh, players from having to uh, load a, a giant wave file every time they want to hear a, a, a small clink or clang. Um, but also do note that you can use this for maybe music or something like that. Maybe there is a moment in time where you want uh, a heartbeat sound effect or, or something like that to be playing. Uh, we'll say heartbeat um, as the sound action's name. And you get to a really tense place in combat or tense place in role playing and you want a, a heartbeat sound to play. You can have this be an action to where whenever that scene uh, occurs, then all you need to do is click on this button and click play, and that heartbeat sound, boom, 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 will play. Same thing goes for music. Let's say there's a, a music a music change, or maybe there's a sound effect that's happening within the world. You can activate those sounds by using a sound action. You can kind of create a MIDI board of sorts where you push a button and it plays that sound uh, particular to the scene. Again, what's really neat is you can attach this to items or attach them to other actions. So for instance, you have a roll action um, and maybe an attack action and even a message action. And then underneath it all, you have a sound action that goes along with it. And you click play and all of those actions plays and a sound will be attached to it when it goes to the journal. So with sound actions, we just add a little bit of more immersion to your game. All right, that's pretty much it when it comes to sound actions. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments below, and I will see you on the next one. Bye, everybody.